Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to float div elements in HTML. Um, in order to align div elements you need to use the float attribute. Um, I'm going to start a very simple document here with two divs and then I'm going to show you how to float them. Um, in the body section I'm just going to go div id equals quotations box 1 and close it so that's our div box 1 defined in the body section now I'm gonna go to the style section and type pound box 1 and we're gonna type width height and background color in order to see our div so for width I'm gonna go for 100 px the same for the height, 100 pixels, and for the background color, I'm just going to call it green. Okay, let's save this one and preview. There you go. That's our first div. In order to have a second div, I can just type another div here, or I can just simply copy and paste that here and change it to box 2. So now I need to do the same thing for a for the style as well. So let's just copy that one, paste it here. I'm going to change that one to box 2 and change the color to yellow. So we're going to end up with two divs back to back. Let's take a look. There you are. So you already know that if you have seen my previous videos. But what if I want to align this here or here to the right side of the page? Okay, let's take a look. Uh, first and foremost, if you're floating an element um, that is a stacked in the bottom of another element, you have to float both of them. Um, so in order to, for instance, bring the yellow box here to the side of the green box, I'm going to float both of them to the left. So I type that one, I'm going to copy and paste it here, and there you go. They're both floated to the left. If I want the uh, yellow box to be floated or aligned to the right side of the page, all I need to do is to go change this one, the float, to the right. I'm going to still still keep box one floated to the left. So there you go. Okay, I think I misspelled it. There you have it. Right. Okay. Let's save it and then refresh the page and there you have it so that is how to float uh, div elements I have another video and I want you guys to watch that one and understand about clearing floats um, in that video I explained what happens if you do not put float for the first div thank you for watching